dinosaurs we don't know much about. Mysterious lizards of the prehistoric era. No more than enough about some dinosaurs. But eat tyrannosaurs or megalodon or a triceratops paired with an archaeopteryx. But you must admit that this is just insignificant part of the story about owners of several periods that lasted several hundred million years. Today we will try to learn more about dinosaurs, which are considered mysterious lizards and little know among fans of movies and stories about dinosaurs. Here is the first of mysterious lizards, Augustine or Augustine. The only thing known about this lizard is that the remains of this specimen were found in 1999 in the area of the Patagonian Desert, which is located in Argentinian territory. Outweighed this type of seropod detachment that lived in the low Cretaceous era more than 100 million years ago is similar to, to the popular Stegosaurus, but these are only paleontologist estimates. Serious discussions flared up around the skeleton of this animal about whether species had armor on spikes like a stegosaurus or whether its skin simply consisted of a standard leather cover. Because of this and the small number of these remains, it is not clear to which class the animal belonged to titanosaurus or to diplodocids. Let's move off to the next lizard riddle. This is a distant relative of Triceratops archaeoceratops. This lizard, who lived about 125 million years ago, had a busy body structure and very little information about himself. It is only known that this dinosaur was small in stature, about one meter in length and undeveloped crest, which after millions of years will turn in giant shield. Decoration and protection for the ordinary and well-known Triceratops. Let's move on to the next representative of the dinosaur era. It is a Bambi Raptor. An interesting lesson from the point of view of paleontologists. Initially, according to a small number of remains, scientists identified it as a Velociraptor. But later, upon careful study, it became clear that this lizard does not fit Velociraptors, but represents a completely new species, who was given the name in honor of the Disney character because of his small stature, which was determined to be about in length of half a meter in height, and he weighed no more than 5 kilograms. Bambi Raptor considered a pack of predators and accordingly has a perfectly, he sees perfectly in the dark, which is necessary for this type of hunter. But the most interesting thing in the Bambi Raptor could bend the fingers of the so-called front lahens into a ring, thereby forming a semblance of the most popular American sign, which means everything is okay. In North America, in the state of New Mexico, paleontologists have discovered the skeleton of the dinosaur previously unknown to scientists. For a long time, the remains of this lizard were carefully studied and represented if of the signs of dinosaur, concluded that the bones on the fossil belong to an Zed and explored species. The result of dinosaurs was given the name Tava. What is the meaning of the sign god worshipped by the Pueblo people? Tava is a representative of the first lizards from the Zeropod family that lived 215 million years ago in the territory of modern North America. About 4 meters in length, this predator developed an average speed when hunting prey. Also, according to experts, he ate carrion like many other zeropods that existed throughout their history. But the most interesting thing in that this zeropod differed from its descendants in one future, while most representatives of this genus, such as the Tyrex Olosaurus, Tarbosaurus, and others, had short forelimbs. 
while Tava had them quite long and he most likely used them both in hunting and when obtaining food in other ways. And the name of this fold is Rhychosaurus. The herbivorous representative of the Triassic period was about 10 meters tall. And unlike other species of theropods, when eating leaves on trees, he could not stand on his hind legs as he had a very massive body and limbs, which greatly impeded the movement of the animal. An interesting fact discovered by paleontologists is that the upper jaw contained five front teeth and 24 fallen them in rows that ended under the eye sockets. And this is a representative of the genus of pterosaurs, Ramphorin. His name translates as big faced, lived in both Europe and Africa in the Jurassic period. The most distinctive feature of Rainfall Ridge was the tail, thin and long, and at the end with a slight seal in the form of a rhombus. Scientists also suggest that this species of pterosaurs was also predisposed to a subspecies of Ichthyopagus, that the species pterosaurs also predisposed. These pangolins could track down fish on the fly and dive while continuing to hunt underwater. Anirunafis is a very interesting a bright representative of the species of small pterosaurs that live at the end of the Jurassic period. Unlike its large counterpart Rainforingus, it was a very small flying dinosaur. The body was only 9 cm long with a wingspan of 50 cm and a weight of only 40 grams. Arunagnav hunted for insects and looked more like a scary mutant sparrow than a cute dinosaur. The big head in relation to the body looked intimidating. A sort of vampire from the horror movies of the 80s. And hunting for insects resembled the sweet attacks of voracious perennials. And now our attention will focus on the predator that live in the depths of the oceans. Elasmosaurus, a marine lizard, the genus of plesiosaurs. The name means flat-tailed lizard. On the length of the neck was seven and a half meters. And the total length of the average adult was about ten and a half meters. An interesting fact that this type of sea lizards swallowed stones so that food would be easier to digest and assimilate with them. Cosmoceratops is one of the relatives of the Triceratops known to us. The name translates as an ornate species of Seropsid, 5 meters long and weighing to end a half a ton. He practically did not differ from the ceratops known to us, if not for one thing but. Cosmoceratops was the owner of the largest number of horns. There were 15 of them, but protection from such a heap was not very effective. Basically, the horns were used for mating games. Genzaosaurus is a kind of Chinese Tyrannosaurus which is popularly called the Pinocchio lizard. And this name is not accidental. Its complete copy of the Tyrannosaurus rex differs sharply from the American counter at with a long jaw. This predator lived in the Epic Cretaceous period in Chinese territory. Scientists are still struggling with the cause of the elongated jaw. For them, it remains a mystery how such a massive part of the head did not cause a strong load of the neck. And how did the dinosaur manage to hunt it, according to the laws of physics, given the height and weight of all body parts, it had to fall head down due to the weight of its huge jaw. Sauroniops is a dangerous dinosaur in the truest sense of the word. Scientist paleontologist examining the eye socket of the remains of a lizard called him the Eye of Sorrow. That was the name of the creepy wizard from the Lord of the Rings movie. 
the predator itself lived in the Cretaceous period in northern Africa. Its average size was about 12 meters. Hagrifis. This name consists of two words. Ha, the Egyptian god of the desert, and Griffin, a mythological bird-like monster. Powerful beak, big and strong paws and claws. This specimen, according to paleontologists, surpassed all raptors of its kind and was larger and even the gigantoraptor. The size of the fossil reached up to two and a half meters and it weighed 50 kilograms. After watching this episode, rate it like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also leave your independent comment and hit the bell to watch new and interesting releases from our real Unreal channel.